Hey there, Tony Richardson from Exploit Creative here. I wanted to give you guys a freebie just to say thanks for subscribing and, and liking and leaving comments and blah, 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 blah. This here today is a free set of graphic styles for Illustrator and you can use it in commercial projects, whatever you want to do. It's the custom graphic styles that I have basically culminated over several months of practicing caricatures. And I'm just giving it away so you guys can follow my videos or whatever you want to do with it. To grab that graphic style set, all you have to do is go to explodecreative.com.au slash free-graphic-styles And once you're there, there's a little download link just under the image. Click here to download that graphic styles pack. Once you've downloaded that, it'll turn up as a Illustrator file called explodecreativecaricature.ai And to install it, all you need to do is go to your computer and navigate to wherever your Adobe Illustrator is installed, so in a program file. You, for you, it's probably in the C drive. For me, my Illustrator, I happen to know, is installed in the D drive. So we're going into program files, Adobe, Illustrator, whatever version you have, this is CC here. And once you're in that installation folder, you want to go into presets, NUS, graphic styles, and just drag in that uh, file you downloaded from my website. Once it's in there, it's time to tell Illustrator that we have a new package. So let's go back into Illustrator. Head over into Window, Graphic Style Libraries, and there's the Other Library option here. We'll want to click on Other Library, and we'll want to navigate to where that file you just placed is sitting. And once we find that file, explodecreativecaricature.ai, we'll open that and it'll turn up in your Illustrator. And that's really handy. It's a whole bunch of swatches and strokes. And also one thing to note is once you've done that, all you have to do is go to Window, Graphic Style Libraries, and it'll turn up in this list from now on. So you can go and, and quickly select it wherever, you know, wherever it is. So once you've got that set up and running, let's, let's do a little tester. Let's grab one of those strokes and just draw it. So I'm doing this for you guys. A lot of you, once you draw that stroke, it'll probably default to the uniform style of stroke that looks like this. Absolute rubbish. We want to stop it from doing that. So we want to go to the window appearance panel. Go into the tiny little flyout menu on the top right, just a little arrow. And make sure new art has basic appearance is not ticked. We don't want that ticked. And God knows why it's ticked by default when Illustrator is installed, but we don't want that ticked. And once it's unticked, thank you very much, we can grab our pencil and whatever new stroke we draw will be that, uh, that graphic style without any problem, without defaulting to that terrible uh, default line. So once that's settled, we can start to use our graphic styles. And uh, one thing I want to recommend is to make your own graphic style set. This might be a good play around for you in the meantime, but I'm sure you'll probably start to notice that there, it's missing some colors that maybe you want, that you often use in your art. So to make your own graphic style set, all you have to do is go to Window, Graphic Styles, and once you've got that, uh, you'll see something that looks maybe a little bit like this. We just want to select, just click the second one and hold shift and click the last one and then just drag all of it into the bin because we don't want that. We want to make our own new set with stuff that we like. So with that settled and make sure just in case uh, just draw something here, and if it's got a drop shadow, just make sure you go into Appearance, find the drop shadow uh, panel, and just delete it. So, creating a new stroke is easy. Let's say we wanted to make our own graphic styles here. We can draw any shape. It doesn't matter what the heck shape we draw, as long as it has the style that we want. So, say I wanted this to be the common style that I use. I wanted uh, 
I, I would like to use a four point stroke with this width profile or maybe this one. I would like to use that more often. So I would select that and click new graphic style and then it becomes a new graphic style and you can reuse that in whatever you want to do. Same thing goes with an object with a fill. So any shape is good, whatever. Let's say I wanted this fill to be uh, you know, red and I'd like to use that red fill more often. I'll hit new graphic style and it becomes something that I can use more often. So once I s create a shape, I can just click that graphic style and it sets to that graphic style. Same goes if you want to make a graphic style that includes both a fill and a stroke. So if God knows why, but if you wanted a red fill and a blue stroke to be something you use more often, go ahead and select that and hit new graphic style and it becomes something that you can just pick out of the bag whenever you like. Graphic styles are awesome, fantastic time savers and they also kind of give you your art a bit of its own style. So make sure if you want your art to be unique and please do, make sure you make your own graphic style set. It's fantastic. Once you're happy with your graphic style set, uh, what you absolutely have to do is go into the fly out menu and click save graphic style library. And this, once you save it, save it with a name like maybe caricature or, or digital painting or whatever you do, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you save it either. Uh, and then just save that. I'm going to hit out of there, but save it. And once you've saved it, it'll turn up in window graphic style libraries under the list from now on. So you can handily pick it from there. All right, once that's, uh, once that's all good, you've got your own graphic style set. I'm going to show you what I do with mine, my, my process, why I have these particular swatches, why I have these strokes. So the first thing I do is I grab that thick stroke there and I just create a head shape. So I uh, maybe I'll just do a guy with a big chin and a little forehead. So I use this thick stroke uh, graphic style for outlines, basically. and you know, maybe the outline of the hair. And if he has a big nose, or he or she, <laughs> I use the thick stroke, but if it's quite a small nose, I'll switch down to the smaller stroke just next to it. And that's the first in the list of graphic styles. And I use this smaller stroke just to do all the... smaller features of the face. And so for the pupils, I might even like to pop over here and set a black fill to it. And so yeah, just uh, capping off all that uh, inner detail, if that's about it for me. And I'm happy with that. So I'll just... Uh, move on to making a new layer underneath. So go into your layers panel, create a new layer, and by default it turns up on top. Just drag it below your line art layer. We're ready to color it in. Now, I guess, yeah. Y you could use um, the live paint tool if you wanted. If you if you tend to close your lines, you could use the live paint tool, which would be quite easy. Uh, look that up somewhere else. I'm not going to go into that here. But what I do personally is I just grab a swatch maybe of skin color from that graphic style library. And I just draw a really loose uh, fill shape of where I want that skin color. Once that's drawn, I just click that skin swatch in the graphic styles. I'll do the same with the eye whites. So I'll just uh, draw a little shape for where I want the whites. 
And then I'll grab a swatch for the hair color. And I'll draw that one as, as well. And I'm, I'm just going to go real fast and not bother too much with this drawing, but... And, uh, yeah, uh, some clothes color, whatever that happens to be. There's a few options in there, in there for you to play around with. If I wanted to maybe make some funky hair highlights, I could select a different brown. And play around with that like that. And uh, if I wanted to, say, make some rosy cheeks, I would grab that red graphic style there, turn it down to a very low opacity, and just slap it in like that. Also, sometimes I like to do is make some skin shadow just for depth. So I'll draw in where I want that shadow. I'll select the same skin color that I have for the base layer. I'll switch over to the color, the fill, not the stroke. We want the fill. And then I'll switch from CMYK or RGB, whatever it is for you right now. Switch it over to HSB. HSB is great because what you can do is fill in some black and fill in some saturation and you'll get a nice darker shade of your original color and it doesn't have to be skin color this can apply to uh, shirt shading hair shading looks really nice so yeah it's just a matter of going to HSB in the color panel and creating a new darker swatch and of course once you've done that be sure to add it to your graphic styles library and be sure to start kind of creating your own graphic styles library, creating one that you really like to use. It's lots of fun. All right, and once I'm happy with all that sort of thing, I'll just uh, cap it off, I think. I also use this white swatch here for creating uh, highlights, like I might make a big uh, dot on the nose or some forehead reflection or even some reflection on the cheeks. Just like that. So yeah, it's it's kind of like that. That's that's what I use all these swatches for. This this area here with the browns is mostly the hair colors. You've got your rosy cheeks over here. You've got some more hair colors, I think, some clothes colors, and down the bottom is mostly the eye colors. So go ahead and muck around with that. Uh, let me know what you think. If this helped you out, do add a uh, comment, spread some love, uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out facebook.com slash gift caricatures if you want some more free stuff and check out some more good, good stuff over there. But yeah, just grabbing that, uh, that graphic styles library that I use. Totally easy. explorecreative.com.au slash free dash graphics dash styles. And uh, free to use it for whatever purpose you like. Uh, be sure to give me a shout, love to hear your feedback, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you later.